Welcome to The Crossroads of Continents, the Turkish Straits. These vital waterways serve as the sole maritime connection between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, playing a crucial role in global trade and energy transportation. Witness the impressive volume of maritime traffic traversing these narrow passages. On average, over 50,000 vessels navigate the Straits annually, translating to roughly 130 ships per day. Notably, around 20 of these vessels are oil tankers or gas carriers, highlighting the critical role the Straits play in global energy transportation. The landscape of the Straits is constantly evolving. The average size of vessels and the volume of cargo they carry have witnessed a steady rise, leading to an increased level of risk associated with navigation. As we delve deeper into this fascinating region, we'll explore the complexities of navigating the Turkish Straits, the safety measures in place, and the ongoing efforts to ensure the smooth and efficient flow of maritime traffic. Stay tuned for a closer look at this vital global. The Istanbul Strait is approximately 17 nautical miles long and about 700 meters wide at the narrowest point, it contains several major turns that can obscure oncoming traffic and require course alterations of up to 80 degrees. The Chilakale Strait is approximately 37 nautical miles long. The passage is generally straightforward except for two significant turns near the city of Chinakale, where the strait reaches its narrowest point about 1,300 meters. Navigation is therefore less hazardous than in the Istanbul Strait, although there are strong currents up to five knots, eddies and countercurrents throughout. General Procedures for Vessels Navigating the Turkish Straits Reporting Vessels must submit various reports to the relevant Vessel Traffic Service Centers VTS as per Turkish regulations these include SB1 and SB2 reports, call point reports, position reports, and Marmara reports. AS and VHF. Maintain a functioning AS device and monitor the designated VHF channel for your sector while navigating or anchored within the straits. Safety measures. Continuously monitor VTS broadcasts and adhere to their instructions for safe navigation, environmental protection, and life safety. Report any navigational hazards to the relevant VTS. Deviations and delay. If deviating from the traffic separation scheme TSS or experiencing ETA delays exceeding two hours, notify the relevant VTS. Pilotage service. Pilotage is strongly recommended for non-stopover transits, especially for vessels with limited experience or complex cargo. All pilotage communication occurs on VHF channel 71. Anchoring and leaving anchorage. Anchorage, 
Vessels must anchor only in designated areas, except for emergencies. Report your anchorage position and time to the relevant VTS. Maintain continuous sector channel monitoring while anchored. Leaving anchorage. Inform the relevant VTS one hour before heaving anchor. Upon leaving, report the time, arrival port, and estimated time of entry into the strait, and obtain information on maritime traffic. Overtaking. Another vessel is only permitted in exceptional circumstances, with prior permission from the relevant VTS. Currents, large vessels, deep draft vessels, and vessels carrying dangerous cargo with limited maneuverability less than 10 knots. Should avoid entering the strait when upstream currents exceed 4 knots, or when strong winds create counter or variable currents. Sanitary inspections, vessels transiting the straits are subject to sanitary inspections at designated locations as per the 1936 Montreux Convention. Recommendations for vessels navigating the Turkish Straits, ensuring safe and efficient passage. Senior officers, ensure senior navigating officers possess adequate experience and knowledge of navigating the Straits. Vessel size, conventional Suez Max tankers 275 300 meters are the recommended maximum size for safe navigation under normal conditions. Larger tankers may be allowed with stricter restrictions and risk assessments. Qualified pilots utilize qualified pilots for both north and southbound transits. Pilot transfer Embark and disembark pilots at designated EMO locations. Vessel trimming. Ensure proper vessel trim for optimal maneuverability during transit. Navigation practices. Adhere to best practices, including proper bridge manning and precise position fixing. Cargo operations. Avoid cargo and ballast operations during transit and secure all cargo tank lids. Communication Encourage communication in English between VTS operators, pilots, and bridge teams to enhance situational awareness for all parties involved. Congestion management, implement measures to reduce congestion near the straits, including optimizing one-way traffic protocols. Creating a formal pilotage scheme, including training and certification. By following these procedures and recommendations, vessel operators can ensure safe and efficient navigation through the Turkish Straits, contributing to a safer maritime environment for all. Gentlemen, ship, captain, and ship operators, by following these procedures and recommendations, 
vessel operators can ensure safe and efficient navigation through the Turkish Straits, contributing to a safer maritime environment for all. Keep safe and thanks for watching.